guys, how's it going? East Bangers out here. Today we're talking all about fishing like always and today we're specifically talking about feeding fish at your local bodies of water. Whether it's lakes, quarries, ponds, rivers, creeks, whatever it is, reservoirs. Let's talk today a little bit about some things you really need to know before you ever introduce any other fish into any other body of water and before you, you know, essentially start to feed fish any type of food um, in any body of water. So first thing is when it comes to private fisheries, you know, um, and say, you know, no one really cares, the people, the landowners, or maybe it's one of yours or one of your um, relatives that has a pond and there's certain things you can feed those fish and they get bigger and it's no big deal. But there's some other places, especially when it's a public lake, public bodies of water, um, very strict rules as far as, you know, what you can use, what you can do. And just keep in mind when you're on those public bodies of water, that you have to be very careful um, not to uh, get in trouble. So I know, uh, for example, I have a story about a lake, Lake Chabot, California. There were some fish introduced by a lady and uh, they're very aggressive. They're very, uh, you know, they're the kind of fish that'll take a fishery over. So that's, you know, not a good thing what she did for the fishery and ultimately not just for the fishery, but for the park and the recreation area around it because it draws a lot of money in. So that is, you know, really uh, not good. But basically by introducing the wrong fish or by feeding a fish the wrong type of food, you know, you can actually give that fish parasites or you can, um, Actually, there's just, there's, there's just some effects that it can have on fish. So um, that's why generally, you know, they don't like you feeding fish at a public lake or some private lakes or ponds and stuff like that. But remember that we're not, you know, we're, you know, night crawlers, they're not ever going to hurt nothing, you know. Uh, grasshoppers and stuff like that. They're not going to, you know, all these uh, mealworms and waxworms, red worms, and that's not going to do anything. But there's some people that are, you know, they fish with a variety of other baits. So um, I I've seen people actually <laughs> just, just really, really get, um, I know one guy that was catching frogs and actually using the eyes of the frogs as bait. I know, um, people that were obviously like, you know, taking the, uh, the, uh, a crawfish and they would take the tail and they would kind of crack it and they would throw that out there for bait. Um, I, I know some people that would use, you know, the heart of any fish for bait. I know some people that would use some stuff that maybe was in the freezer or maybe something that I guess what I'm trying to say is something that like is older, developed bacteria and whatnot, allowing, you know, once that, you know, other fish or once it gets in the body of water, it can just you know, maybe it's uh, been cross contained I mean, there's potential risk, but just be careful in general uh, when you're doing stuff along those lines. I mean, when you're, you know, feeding fish, anything other than, you know, basic natural things, um, there, there, there can be devastating effects. And if you really think about it, the reward, the upside, you know, for that risk is not that great. Now, if you can introduce a hundred or 50 crayfish into the fishery, you know, you can hope they stay within that fishery. Um, 
if you, you know, introduce um, certain types of um, food, you know, but the problem is there's pellet feeders and there's certain, uh, there, there are feeders that are, you can get on timers and there's all kinds of ways to do it. But generally, the best way is to have a really healthy ecosystem. And even if it's not really healthy, just to be able to have a self-sustainable fishery is a uh, key. So you won't have to sit there and feed those fish all the time. But um, I hope this video clarifies that feeding fish is generally not a good idea. Feeding um, the fish is most of the time a bad idea, especially on public water. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, chumming, I don't think, uh, talked anything about that, but chumming is also illegal, at least in my state. Um, so I'm not sure about your state, but chumming is an art of basically throwing out, um, a bunch of bait to lure the fish in. Uh, but that bait, although they can smell it, they usually can't always, it depends on the situation, but, um, you know, sometimes you can chum the water by, say, taking a can of dog food and poking a bunch of holes in it, you know, piercing it, and uh, come back the next day, and there's a school of fish. I mean, these are the old school, old school techniques, like, but, um, yeah, stuff's you know, obviously not good for, you know, long term for the fishery, the environment. But um, stay tuned, guys. We got more videos coming. Comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.